Alright, so first go to create.roblox.com and press the I hate my life button. When you open it up, you'll immediately be flashbanged by light mode, so let's head over to file and studio settings and switch it from blinding to healing. While you're here, you can also check enable auto saves. I personally don't because I have a habit of saving frequently. And also changing your rendering. If you got a low end computer, go to level 1, high end, go to max. If you have a low end, don't worry about recording at high quality later, because I have a little workaround for that. There's a ton of settings, but just go through that stuff on your own, because I don't have the time for this. Okay, firstly, open a base plane. Your controls are WSD to move, and 1, 2, 3, 4 to swap between your object controls. Congratulations! You have just completed your first episode of Academy 7090. Yeah, no, that joke sucked. I just, uh, realized too late into editing to remove it. <laughs> Open the View tab and you'll find the Explorer. It's pretty much a window that contains labels for everything in the workspace. While we're here, you can also open up the Properties tab, where you can, uh, edit the properties of things. Oh, and for recording animations, you literally screen record your screen using a screen recording software, like OBS. So, if you want to get this ugly block out of here, just press this. You can close Explorer and Properties, and you can also minimize your top windows by double-clicking them. If you want to set your studio to a certain aspect ratio, you can go to Test and click Device. If you don't like how snappy everything is, you can go to Model and mess around with these settings, or just turn them off for full control. You can import parts here and there and change what type of part it is with the drop-down menu. Control c and Control v to copy and paste. Control z to undo. Union combines parts into one. Intersect creates parts out of whatever is intersecting. Negate creates a negative part that cuts into parts when unioned. And separate undoes any of these three operations. The toolbox is where you can find community asset uploads, ranging from models, to decals, to plugins, to audios, to Freddy Fazbear from Five Nights at Freddy's. You can enable unverified creators for more assets. Just be wary when using these because, uh, there's a lot of evil people in this world that put hidden scripts in the models, so... Whenever importing something from the toolbox, just make sure you go through it and delete any scripts. You know, you do this by uh, going into the Explorer tab and, uh, like, opening the model. I didn't record any footage for this and I'm too lazy, but I'm sure you can figure it out. If you go to File, you can save your place as a file or save it to Roblox. I personally save stuff to file so I can open them directly from my desktop, but you can do whatever you want. I also have a, like a base plate where I keep all my assets saved to Roblox so that if my laptop were to explode, I can just open that up and I, I'll, I wouldn't have lost anything. And yeah, with that you should have surface level understanding of Roblox Studio. Of course this isn't everything, but if you were expecting everything in a long video, then FUCK YOU! But I encourage you to explore Roblox Studio past just this video and figure out everything else yourself. And, uh, don't worry about memorizing anything, uh, cause I will bring up these controls and any other controls that I haven't mentioned in future videos when they come up. So yeah, 